So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can boost your SEO traffic using two free SEO tools from Surfer. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for an account with Surfer. You can use my referral link below this video if you want to sign up through me. But either way, once you've signed up for an account, you can select the free package and with the free plan alone, you'll be able to use some really cool tools to boost your website search engine traffic. So once you've got a Surfer account, the next thing you need to do is go to products over here and then go to where it says free tools. And we're going to be looking at the keyword Surfer extension and the AI outline generator. And I'm going to show you how I use these tools, not just for myself, but also for my clients as well. So the keyword Surfer extension, if you click on this, you'll see a page that looks like this. And all you need to do is click on this button to add it to your Google Chrome web browser. And then once you've installed the Google Chrome web extension, all you need to do is go to Google and type in any keyword that you want to rank for. So let's just say you wanted to rank for best funnel builders. You would type that into Google. And then as long as you have the Surfer SEO extension installed, you'll see this that says powered by Surfer. And what this will tell you once it's installed, it will tell you how many people are searching for this each month. It will tell you how much people are paying per click. And again, this is just per click, not even for a lead or anything like this, but all of these ads that you see here, if I was to click on any of those, that would cost them on average about $25. So if you ever see a high cost per click, that usually shows that it's a good keyword to target because most likely this traffic converts well into customers. So what I like to do is use this tool to reverse engineer how to rank first on Google. And the secret to ranking is already on the first page of Google. All you need to do is look at who's ranking on the first page and then see what they're doing and then copy what they're doing. And that means copy what links they're getting and copy what structure or what kind of text they're using in their articles, copy their headings. Uh, obviously don't copy it word for word, but you can use that as a basis or a foundation so that your article can start ranking first in Google. And one of the great things that the Surfer SEO extension can do is as you start scrolling down, it will tell you, actually you can see my website here is, is currently in the number one spot, but it will tell you how many words on average each of these different websites have. So you can see my website has 2,999 words. Then the next one has 4,300 words. Then the next one has 4,700 words, then 6,900 words, then 2,700 words, then 6,000 words, then 4,000 words, and so on. So this gives you an idea of how long your blog post needs to be. Now, the length is just one factor. There's still a lot more variables, but at least it will give you a rough idea of how long your article needs to be. For example, if I was to create an article that was only 1,000 words or even 1,500 words, it's going to be very difficult to rank for this keyword because all the other websites that are ranking first on this page have over 2,000 words in their articles, some even more than three or 4,000 words. So you can see with 3,000 words, you know, Google in Google's eyes, that's, that's good enough to rank first on Google. But if you are creating an article that had less words than the average of what everyone else is doing, it's going to be much more difficult for you to rank first on Google. So that's the first thing you can do. And this is one of the things that I use this tool for, and it saves me a ton of time. The second thing you can do is structure your content in the right way. So like I mentioned, you need to have the right keywords, the right headings, the right images, and all of that stuff you can find by going to Google and clicking on all the first pages that appear in the search result. And you can get a rough idea of what kind of keywords they're using, what headings they're using, and all of that kind of stuff. But what you can also do is you can use another one of Surfer's free SEO tools, uh, which is the AI outline generator to give you a rough idea of how you should structure your content. And even if you have one of Surfer's paid plans, this tool is still really good and helpful uh, when it comes to structuring your article. So again, all you need to do is type in uh, the keyword that you want to rank for. So let's just do best funnel builders and then click on generate outline. And then I'll pause this while it's loading. Okay, so it's just finished creating the outline and you can see it's told you what kind of headings would be good to use. So we can see here we have three H1 headings. So this will be three different titles that you could potentially use. And then we have different H2 headings. So these are different H2 headings, again, that you could potentially use. And then we have the H3 headings. So these are basically the different tools of funnel building software that you could use. And these are all in H3 headings. And what you can do is then you can export or copy all of these things, and then you can use it to structure your article. And then you'll know for certain that you've structured your article the correct way because you're basing your article 
of what everyone else has already been doing on page one of Google. And if you want to take things one step further, you could even then use AI writing tools like Jasper to write the content for these headings if you want to save some time with that as well. But either way, this is a really good way to save a ton of time when it comes to creating content. Now, creating content on its own is a good start, but it's not the most important thing if that content doesn't actually convert into any leads. So if you want to learn how to create content that actually converts into leads, appointments, and clients for your business, then check out salesappointmentsmasterclass.com where I've recorded a free training that goes through how all of that works in more detail. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.